What's up, y'all? Trey B. Divin in the building. You know what time it is. So, got the prelude here out, out of the shop. And uh, today, we're gonna be doing a video on how to retrofit your turn signals to LED sequential switchbacks. So we're gonna be changing these bad boys right here. So stay tuned. All right, so for those of you who don't know what I mean when I say LED sequential switchback, I'm gonna show you. So basically what you have here is uh, the turn signals on the 92 to 96 Honda Prelude. Um, this tutorial is gonna kind of be um, I mean, it, it's not limited to just the 94 Prelude, not even limited to the Prelude. I think the whole entire video can be used uh, for different cars as well. But basically, to sum it up, um, these, this is what it's going to look like. I know it looks a little, a little uneven, but never mind that. I'm going to fix that later. But basically, this is an LED. So uh, it's going to act as like a daytime running light. And then, of course, when the turn signals are hit, we're going to get that chasing effect. So I'm basically going to show you guys how I did that. All right, so believe it or not, this is not really a very intricate project. It's pretty simple, to be honest with you. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because it is simple. I found a simple way to do it. Um, so basically what you're looking at here is uh, the turn signals are two pieces for the prelude. This is the outer piece and then this is the inner piece. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking, um, I'm taking this LED strip. It's just a strip. I don't have to do much wiring. It's plug and play with the harness. This is the, uh, this is the conversion box right here. And then this uh, end plugs directly into the light. Uh, where is it? Right. Oh, right there. So, like I said, the reason why I chose these specific lights is because they were pretty much plug and play. There's a little bit of wiring. Um, so, uh, when you get to that point, um, this box will have to be um, wired into your stock harness. But it's just four wires. You got your ground. Oh, my bad. You got your ground. You got your, uh, I'm sorry, the red is your power. Uh, to the okay so I'm not sure which one's which but it doesn't really matter the white and the red are going to the same power source one powers the box and one powers the running light the white light the yellow or the orange wire is the turn signal um, so it's pretty simple it's just four wires you got to wire up um, that would go to the stock harness and then as far as the lights uh, all I did was I actually drilled a hole on either side of this is the inner light so that I could feed the LED strip through on both sides. Really, really simple. Um, I just used, uh, I didn't use a typical drill bit. I used this drill bit, which you can, this is one of those ones where you can like pretty much drill the size at will. I don't know what the name for this is, but this is what I used. And sorry I didn't show this part, but I was too busy trying to figure it out at the time. So I'm just kind of basically catching you up to what I've done already. Uh, <clears throat> so basically what I have to do is I'm going to have to feed this strip through that hole. And then uh, on the center one gets two holes. And then the outer one, you, it only gets one hole drilled. So basically, um, I do have to go take the bumper off. But the next step is basically to put the LED strip through the light like that. And then um, I have, do have to straighten this one. This one's a little quicker. I have to straighten it out. But um, it's not meant to be perfect. It's just meant to be like a quick mod um, that you can do. And it's easy for you guys to do. And this is why I'm doing it. So let's see, uh, see if we can get it done. All right, so I went ahead and took my bumper off. Um, the next thing I'm going to do actually 
is get the old turn signals out. Um, if you've never taken the turn signals out before, it's not too hard. The only thing that makes it hard is if uh, these bolts or these screws kind of seized. But if you look carefully through here, you can actually stick a Phillips head through this hole and unloosen this. Once you unloosen that, you, you come on the side. This outer one also has a Phillips head. Take that out. And then basically, um, these are like slide in, slide out that lock in place. So I'm gonna get these screws out and uh, get these old ones out and then we'll start fabbing up the new ones. All right, so basically I got the LED strip in the housing ready to go. Um, now, the way I ran it, uh, the LED sweeps from a specific direction. So um, you're gonna have to feed it in from the inside. So if you're looking at the bumper and it's on the right, you're gonna have to feed the LED in from the inside and go that way because that's the way that the sequential is gonna sweep, it's gonna sweep that way. Um, so that's the first thing. And you notice that the LED is sticking out of this end. I'm gonna show you why. Once I get this first one in place, this other one actually fits right in there where that other hole where I drilled, and it goes inside this housing. So basically, um, this clip right here, I don't know if you can really see it, this little edge right here, um, this little edge right here does go into a, a slot on the bumper, and that's the first step. So get it in there. Alright, so once you fit that tab in place, you're pretty much just gonna push this in. Up into place just like that. Now, like I was saying before, this part of the LED strip is still sticking out, which is good. So basically, that hole that I drilled in this uh, outside piece, the LED is literally gonna go through there. So you're gonna slip that LED through that hole, and then this one also gets, uh, there's a little tab on it, and then just gets pushed into place. And that's pretty much it. So now you have those two screws, the one on the inside, and then the one on the outside here that I got to screw together. And then it's pretty much installed on the bumper. All right, so now that we actually got the lights uh, and the housing installed on the bumper, let's go ahead and uh, turn them on, see what it look like. Dope. All right, so moment of truth. Uh, we're gonna test the lights in the bumper. Everything's connected, the wiring is done. Again, if you're worried about the wiring, it's very simple. I know I didn't show it, but it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, if you follow what I said, the red and white wires go to power and the yellow goes to the actual blinker. That's it, and then of course, black goes to ground it's really simple man I wouldn't worry too much about it um, if you've gotten this far I'm sure you can figure it out if not just comment below and, and I'll help you out um, but yeah so now what we're gonna do is turn on the hazard lights and see what it looks like Let's see what it looks like you know what I'm saying Oh shit. <laughs> I like it.
Hey. So there you have it, man. Nice little mod. Wasn't too expensive. Didn't take too long. Definitely wasn't hard. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, and yeah, man. If you like what you see, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Share it if you need to. And uh, you see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm a pro.